Rag rolling. Before you begin this technique, make sure you prime your surface and apply your satin or semi-gloss base color and allow it to dry for 24 hours. First, loosen the rag roller by pulling the black end caps partially out and twisting the end caps in opposite directions until the cover is slightly loose. Then push the end caps back in. The loosened rag roller can now be attached to a 9-inch roller frame. There are subtractive and additive methods for rag rolling. In the subtractive method, use a quarter-inch nap roller to apply a 2 by 2 foot area of the glaze paint mixture. Cut in with a brush as you go. Then saturate your rag roller in the same glaze paint mixture. Roll off the excess on newspaper to ensure even application. Now roll the primed rag roller randomly through to remove some of the glazing. As the rag roller becomes saturated, roll the excess glaze onto newspaper. Keep going until you get the desired effect. Leave a few inches at the edge of the column for overlap. If you lose the wet edge, use a damp sponge or spray bottle. Complete an entire wall before stopping. In the additive method, saturate your rag roller in the same glaze paint mixture. Lightly roll off the excess on newspaper to ensure an even application. Start in the top corner and roll the rag roller randomly over the wall. Continue rolling randomly until the desired effect is achieved. Use crumpled fabric for corners and near the ceiling. Reload the roller as necessary, lightly rolling the excess off on the newspaper each time. And for any additional colors, allow the previous color to dry at least four hours. For additional basic project information, refer to our Getting Started module.